Alrighty guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at how to deactivate the program. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we have daily updates. Otherwise, back to the tutorial. So now, um, just a reminder, this is a mini series on um, we basically covered already how to download it, how to install it, and how to activate it. So now in today's video, like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at deactivating it. Now, uh, the reason why you'd want to deactivate your program is, let's say you, uh, you've upgraded a machine or your computer to a new Windows or something, or you want to work on another computer. Then you would first want to deactivate it on your current machine, install it on the new one, and reactivate it there. Now, we do get two types of... Um, deactivation so it's kind of like a more automatic one that comes with a program and a more manual one now the automatic one which we're going to cover first you can kind of do as many times as you want there's no limit to it where the manual one you kind of can only do it once a year and the reason uh, uh, what or should I rather say the purpose of that one is, is let's say your computer crashed before you could deactivate it so let's say uh, windows broke or something like that and now you can't get back into your system so then you want to do the manual way, but like a, um, like a, just a reminder, you really only want to do that at last resort, seeing that you can only do that once a year. So otherwise, uh, to deactivate it, so the first method, what we want to do is locate uh, where the program's kind of installed, or we're gonna, you can kind of just type your start bar and type in what you're looking for, or we can go on the start bar and then we navigate to where the program's installed. So we'll go down here, so we find Flexi Starter. I've installed it twice because of the tutorial. So we'll go to a second one. And then under the list, we will see we've got here License Manager. Now, if we click this, then it will pop up our uh, license options. And now once we're done with that, it will um, pop us up this area with uh, software ID and removal code. And then, um, yeah, then now, as you can see, the license was successfully removed from this computer. Then it's currently unlicensed, so now you can install it on another computer, or you can go license again. So then, uh, and after that, we just want to click finish. And now, obviously, for any reason, if you would like to just reactivate it on the same computer, you can go the same way, start, and just navigate till you find the same option, license manager. Or you simply just try start the program and it will give you the same options and then it will be similar to the installation where it asks you to reactivate it okay yeah so that is it on uh, deactivating your software um, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za yeah sorry it's a bit premature let's first look at the second option i guess so in any case so if we now under softwaretraining.co.za if uh, we go to uh, forward slash deactivate minus SAI, it will bring us to this page, which will basically cover what we just covered. But then if you navigate all the way to the bottom here, we will see that um, uh, we've got the manual, manual deactivate software. So we've got a few fields you want to um, fill in here. And you'll see there's quite a lot of I have to accept uh, terms and conditions. And then you go submit. But like I mentioned, uh, just careful when doing this one because you can only do it once a year so uh, use this for last resort so let's try this again so if you guys navigate to software training let's see other uh, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also we have this nice little search option so if you want to isolate your search then uh, if you don't find what you're looking for you can always go here request a training video and then we will make that for you otherwise thanks guys for watching until next one cheers